I think it's basically getting legislative support for uh, supporting the work that CSOs are doing, uh, creating the enabling environment for CSOs to contribute to national development, and that's why we have agencies of government in the room as well. So basically it's to uh, create the legal framework that enables NGOs to contribute more to national development. I think that demand is already in place. We, we do have, of course, um, the conversations that have been ongoing. Uh, these are not demands that are originating today. These are conversations that have been ongoing. We want to see increase civil society legislative collaboration, and that's why the question about creating a civil society liaison office is, is key and important. Uh, looking at the Companies and Allied Matters Act to bring um, issue of um, uh, the environment, the legal framework and environment to compliance with uh, best practices. Uh, so these are all of the issues that are going on and we're happy that the National Assembly uh, chairmen who are here are indicating strong support for creating a better enabling environment for CSO operations in Nigeria. I don't think there's any question about um, anybody quarreling with the rules. I think the rules are quite clear. Um, CSOs are it's a very large uh, area. It's not just uh, the governance CSOs. The CSOs are is a wide field, and um, everyone understands the importance of um, the, the framework that exists. Uh, and nobody is asking that those frameworks don't exist. We only want to work with uh, agencies, work with ourselves, work th with the legislature to continue uh, the conversation around protecting civic space for NGOs. Thank you. Thank you.